No. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am back, and it's your coat. And guess what? I guess I'll just continue the little, you know, scouting trip here. Hopefully, get to kick some ass. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Since we're taking this guy down. Can we break the link? We can find something better than that. We can do better. These guys only knew what the hell was going on. <laughs> oh, he go get tossed. He's gonna get tossed.
about this one? You can't sneak up on me. Spare yourself the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. <coughs> the chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to leave you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat! Yeah, okay. Still wanna play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, alright? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal. Cause I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. Biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Bullshit. I don't believe that. I do not believe that. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, 
Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, and this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, shit. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of episode one, and I am just a bit shocked. Holy crap. Okay, 60. I'm part of the 64%. Okay. Wow. 91%. What? The other 8.1%? What the hell were you thinking? Damn, I am a small, a, a little, there's very little percentage in between. It's almost damn near 50-50. Did you break the guy's arm or not? Well, I ain't gonna break nobody's arm. He gave me all the information I need to. We're good. 71 or 70% put it to the police officers. 29%. Why in the hell would you give it to the news when they hear about, or when they're gonna broadcast about it first and then put it to the police, give it to the police officers? That's going to take a whole hell of a lot more time to get Falcone arrested if you put it to the media first. Oh, that's a little ridiculous. 86% of players showed restraint. 13.4% knocked him off of the damn building. Well, that's nice. Shit, man. Well, since we're only 13 minutes into this, I guess we're going to do part one of episode two. So let's go. La, 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 la. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce, no matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters, too. Wonder who he's after next. <sighs> Hell of a view. Yeah, no, he's got Bruce, blackmail against Bruce, the Wayne name too. is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. 
I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Woohoo! Follow Batman's adventures wherever comic books are sold. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm all down for that. Goodness. Previously on Batman, the Telltale series. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. What? Mr. Wayne! Thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, bat. <laughs> well, what a bitch. But yet, this you is know, Selena. Bruce kind of falls dick over balls for her, too, so that sucks. <sighs> calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, including you. It's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes. Are the biggest gangsters in Gotham? Okay, what's up? <laughs> hmm. What? Mm hmm. <laughs> nice. Get out of here, you guys. Okay. Okay. Nope. We ain't gonna say bye. Well, I'm a bit kerfruffled. How about you guys? What was the reason that they were gunned down? I thought I might find you Boring. here. It was, uh, the news because was, it was a upsetting. mugging gone bad, right? For both of us. Who but set it up? You should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. <sighs> I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. 
The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want huh. you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Goodness. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too setup. well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. Wouldn't Chill just run when he recognized him? Well, it's a fair assumption. But he didn't. You See always that? said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. That's true. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. That sounds like a hit. And it sounds like as soon as the guy went to jail, they got rid of the guy that could talk about it. <clears throat> Don't you think? Sounds a lot like that. And the only one I can think of is Falcone had that kind of power. Either that or him and... Hill and Falcone had that kind of shit going on. <coughs> he just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave. Just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. 
You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really? Telltale series. That's some sick shit, man. That is really wow. I don't see how any kid could go through that. you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. Yeah, no I shit. pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. <coughs> this better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? <laughs> oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? <coughs> it's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request and that unorthodox request is gonna have to wait until next episode which pay attention to episode two part two it's not gonna be part one because this is part four of episode one part one of episode two so yeah sorry for the mass confusion and for some odd reason i keep doing that and i don't know why i guess i have like really 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 bad timing but anyways other than that like share and subscribe and all that jazz and i will see you